Hey you guys, it's Britt. Today we're here to talk about Corey DeSoto returning to social media. No, it's not clickbait. Yes, he actually returned to social media and I'm here to talk to you for a few minutes about it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I know that Adam McIntyre talked about this and I wanted to just kind of throw in my thoughts about it. Corey DeSoto decided to post a little thirst trap on his Instagram and I think it's very interesting how he wants to come back with a photo that is shirtless, flexing his muscles, you know, doing this little kind of photo when we consider everything that has been released about him being inappropriate behind the scenes with fans and you want to return with a shirtless photo showing your little muscles off that was very interesting to me now he also posted something on his instagram stories that he quickly deleted because adam mcintyre debunked it so obviously you know, that, that claim was going nowhere talking about, oh yeah, they were all over 18. We know that they weren't over 18. So let's not even try to say that everybody was lying on Corey DeSoto. Now I was curious and I wanted to go through and see who was leaving comments on his posts because he did have limited interactions, you know, oh, only my little echo chamber can leave comments on this post. But it's very interesting because Chadrick left a comment on there and Chadrick has been problematic by himself with Colleen, um, you know, filming homeless people in the laundry mat. I talked about that ages ago, literally filming a homeless woman who was trying to find a safe shelter and they decided to film her in the laundry mat and throw up, on, uh, throw it up on YouTube after they were making fun of her. We're at the laundry mat. This is our next location. <laughs> There's someone we're disturbing their slumber. Guys. Don't let this happen to you, okay? We're here. This is so interesting. People on social media play the victim like it is their full time damn job. So if Corey DeSoto wants to make himself out to be the victim, let's also talk about all of the people who he tried to take advantage of on social media who were not even old enough to consent to having these interactions with him in fan group chats. I, if I'm going to send my sympathy somewhere, it's going to be to somebody who was underage at the time and wasn't able to consent to having inappropriate interactions with literal grown men on social media and men where there was a power imbalance where they looked up to him and thought that he was, you know, somebody to aspire to be. God help us. Hey everyone, it's Corey. I just wanted to record a voice memo because I have like a lot to say. Um, but first of all, I just want to say that like, I love all of you. Like you, honestly means so much to me oh my god um, oh my you god you have no idea i know that it sounds weird because i'm a full-grown adult and some of you are younger oh my god and blah 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 oh but my god. um like i honestly think of all of you like as my best friends like i don't have friends oh and god i'm a loner and i'm a loser like my only friend is colleen oh my god and like i it's so comforting to like go online and talk to you guys and and feel like loved and cared about because I love and care about all of you um Oof. and I trust you and like I like with all my friends I vent to you and when I'm angry and I feel better and I feel comforted by you all and I hope that I can do the same for you but like this whole thing with Krista is has just escalated into something really bad Oh my God. I think that, I mean, on top of the timing and stuff, obviously I do think that him posting on social media ahead of the Swoop and Josh, Joshua DTV, Joshua David Evans 
interview dropping. I do think that the timing is very interesting. They're trying to get ahead of because this is going to absolutely erupt and be a big old mess because Josh is going to lay down the law. He's going to lay down the truth. And there's going to be a lot of things that we have never heard before when this interview drops and people are going to be even more mad at Colleen, even more pissed off and even more upset after this interview drops. And that is my conspiracy ahead of time. But I think that Corey wants to make himself out to be this, um, you know, fragile little person who struggles with mental health. And listen, we all struggle with mental health, some much worse than others. I don't like when people weaponize their mental health or use it as a way to get sympathy on social media. I don't appreciate it. When you are being called out, if you are the type of person to bring up your mental health and how bad your mental health is, I think that that is a literal cop out. Now, I'm not saying that people shouldn't talk about their mental health on social media because I think that it's important to, um, you know, if you are an adult and you're able to consent to sharing your story, I understand how sharing your story could help other people feel less alone. But if you are using it at a certain time in a certain place, that is where I have a problem with it. I think it's alarming that his Instagram post got over 8,000 likes, but allegedly he could also be buying likes to make it seem like he got more interaction on the post than he actually did. But if he did actually get 8,000 likes, it's the few weird, creepy adults who still support him, like Todrick. It's those few creepy adults combined with the children who are still following and supporting everything that he and his bestie Colleen are doing. And that is scary. I did want to share my thoughts on him coming back to Instagram. I find it really interesting, but I guess we'll just see kind of what happens. I do think that everything he and Colleen do are, they're planned very strategically. They're, it's never for no reason. They think that this is going to do something positive for them because if they didn't, then they wouldn't be doing it because he and Colleen, in my opinion, are both very self-serving, very self-centered and very, um, you know, me, myself and I kind of mindset. And I think that that's been proven time and time again, but you guys drop your thoughts down below. What do you think about this return? Do you think that it's calculated? Do you think that it's not calculated? Tell me how you feel. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.